Congratulations to the graduating class of DePaul University. You've done it. It's graduation day. You are the first class of the decade. After countless hours of studying, prepping for class. I congratulate you on your great success. We are so happy to have been part of your professional and educational lives. Life kind of threw you a curveball there at the end. Not kind of, it totally did. You worked very hard to come to this point. Your creativity, dedication, and resilience are an inspiration to all of us. Many of you have been working at your college degree for many, many years, uh, and you should be very proud of your accomplishments. You've prevailed. You've had lots of challenges, but you've made your dream come true. I wish we could all be together cheering and clapping and celebrating with you. But please know we are with you. We adore and respect all that you've taken on. I know I speak on behalf of the faculty when I tell you how much better you've made our lives over the last few years, and especially over the last couple of months. You all came from literally all over. You are extraordinary artists. I'm floored every day by the talent that I see in all of you. And I am sad to see you go, but so excited to think about the change that you're going to create in this world. I know that you will go on and do amazing things. We're not just training you for jobs, and we certainly hope we're doing that, but we are Moreover, training you for your life's work. I wish you nothing but the best as you start this next chapter in your life. And I believe you will make the world a much better place. Congratulations, class of 2020. From all of us here, from the bottom of our hearts, congratulations on all that you've accomplished. We tip our hat to all of your efforts and wish you the best in all of your endeavors. The world is yours for the taking, so dream big and go chase your dreams. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. We proudly present DePaul University's 121st Commencement Ceremonies. Members of the faculty, staff, administration, honored guests, and of course our graduates. I'm Salma Ganim, Interim Provost for DePaul University. Welcome to our 121st commencement, DePaul's very first online ceremony. We very much wish we could all be together right now, and we plan to do so to celebrate together as soon as it's safe. Until then, we celebrate today in this online space because the DePaul community would never pass up an opportunity to applaud you, the class of 2020, and your many accomplishments. Commencement is one of the most meaningful ceremonies of a student's academic career, and a DePaul commencement is anything but ordinary. As a Catholic Vincentian University, we share a commitment to uphold the dignity of every single person. And we call that Vincentian personalism. Just like we do every year, each student will be recognized. We want to give every student their moment because that's the DePaul way. It's also why we encourage all the students family members and friends watching to stay until the end, especially because our ceremony will conclude with a special alumni guest, Joe Keery from the hit Netflix series, Stranger Things. Now we know that the class of 2020 faced many challenges this past quarter. In a matter of days, you had to pivot to all remote learning many of you had to dash back home. Through it all, though, you demonstrated patience and understanding as your faculty transitioned to teach more than 4,000 classes remotely. Your world was turned upside down, but you persevered. But that's not surprising to us, because throughout your time at DePaul, you navigated obstacles and rose to the challenge. How? Well, throughout your time at DePaul, your class dedicated at least 
300,000 hours to academic internships. 2,559 of you are members of the Honor Society. 200 undergraduate students in the class of 2020 completed double majors. More than a thousand of you, or roughly about 17% of your graduating class, participated in study abroad programs. You danced more than 70 hours for Dimonthon, raising approximately $811,000 for Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. The theater school presented more than 300 productions, and the School of Music offered nearly 1,000 performances. Yeah, and yes, you also helped consume two million meals served on our Lincoln Park and Loop campuses, all during your time at DePaul. If you're watching today's ceremony, though, with a loved one, a friend, or a family member, turn to them now and say thank you. And if you're physically apart from many of the ones you love, take a moment and send them a message to express your gratitude. Don't ever forget all the people who helped you get to this moment in your academic career, including, of course, the faculty and staff who shared their talent and wisdom with you. Now, it is your responsibility to carry their teachings forward. On behalf of the entire DePaul community, Congratulations, we can't wait to see what you do next. Now it's my privilege to introduce Reverend Guillermo Camposano, Congregation of the Mission and Vice President of Mission and Ministry, who will deliver today's invocation. Followed by the national anthem sung by John Concepcion. For those who wish to do so, please join me in prayer. Loving God, today is graduation day, a passage, a completion, a new beginning. Today, we pray in thanksgiving for the Paul University's class of 2020. Our students, with the help of faculty, staff, family, and friends, have met the challenges and kept the faith to the commitments of their studies. And they're becoming the kind of people they want to and can be in our society. God, the graduation of this year happens in the context of the most challenging events of our generation. It is in the challenging moments that you refine us. The joy that our students are experiencing today cannot be stolen. We will do well to remember that nothing can steal our joy and our peace when they are a gift that comes from our inner self. Please, do not allow our many trials of today, as difficult as they may seem, to distract us from rejoicing and celebrating this meaningful moment in the lives of so many in our DePaul family. In this context, it can be tempting for us to forget to be joyful. Yet, it is in the challenging moments of life that you prove yourself close, friendly, faithful. You are always with us. Our joy today it's not derived from our comfort, but it is a joy that is happening despite our uncomfortableness, our distance, our inability to gather, to hug, and to say goodbye. Our joy comes from our belief that no matter what is happening, none of us is alone. We will continue to reach out and to support each other. Please, dear God, Continue to educate us all, especially our graduating students, and shape us more completely into the human beings we need to be to go through the fire together and to prevail as one human family. Good and loving God, please bless and guide our graduates 
as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us in our Vincentian classrooms allow them to truly be women and men for others. May what we have learned from them enable us to be the same. Please help our graduates use all that they have learned to serve others in true solidarity and kindness, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the greater good and make our world a better place. Finally, God, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build our Dipola community with these, our students, while they were here. Though they are living now, our campuses, we know that they will always be with us as part of the Dipole family. And we ask that the bonds that have been created here remain strong despite any distance. Bless and protect them and all those they love. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Congratulations, class of 2020. Among the 121 classes who have graduated from DePaul University, yours, the class of 2020, is the most distinguished one of them all. And here's why. First, you all are amazing. I stand here in deep admiration of all that you accomplished. You are outstanding scholars. You earned your degrees from DePaul, a university known for its academic excellence and its mission to serve the public good. St. Vincent de Paul called upon us to answer the question, what must be done? You all have risen to that challenge often amid obstacles in your own lives. Each of you has pursued your dream to better your life and to better the lives of those around you. Many of you are driven precisely because you recognize that you are the role models to the younger generations. You seek to better yourselves, your families, your communities, your workplaces. In awe, I have watched you, the class of 2020, pursue your DePaul education with the utmost passion, vigor, resilience, often amid so many claims on your lives. Each and every one of you is a true inspiration. Furthermore, your class is distinguished as the one that made it to graduation despite the extraordinary challenges posed by this coronavirus pandemic. And I am especially grateful to those of you who are the essential workers who, within this crisis, are sustaining the well-being of all of us. Thank you. Here we are, participating in DePaul's very first virtual commencement. Despite our disappointment that we could not gather together in person, 
Rest assured, your distinguished class will be remembered for many generations to come. And that brings me to another reason why your class of 2020 is so special. Yours is the first class to graduate under the banner of the new School of Continuing and Professional Studies. You are marshalling in an historic age in adult learning here at DePaul. This is a stage that builds upon the mission of the former School for New Learning. The education that you received leveraged your prior knowledge and experience, developed your competencies in the liberal arts and professional studies, and set you on a path of lifelong learning. We look forward to you continuing to apply your learning to serve the public good. Like you, I am a graduate of DePaul. As your dean and now your fellow alumnus, I am so very proud of each and every one of you. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Now, it is my honor to introduce your fellow classmates and our student commencement speaker, Latanja Dotson. Latanja is an administrative coordinator in the marketing department of ComEd. During her time at DePaul, she studied marketing and participated in the National Society of Collegiate Scholars as well as the Alpha Sigma Lambda Honor Society. She's a proud first generation college graduate and she hopes to eventually run her own digital marketing firm. Please welcome Latanja. Welcome, proud parents, loving spouses, supporting family, and amazing friends. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge my fellow rock star graduates. We made it. We started it, we endured, and we conquered. Even though this moment may not be the way that we've envisioned, we're all still here celebrating. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for such an achievement. We did it. It is such an honor to speak with you all today virtually and represent the class of 2020. We are the class of 2020. We're the first graduating class of SCPS. I wanna take a moment to thank everyone that has expressed their support and guided me to give this speech. I also wanna thank my loving husband and son for always being there and knowing my end game and pushing me whenever my determination may have wavered. We did it. So my journey started the year I turned 40. In the beginning, I wrestled with the idea if this was my midlife crisis moment. But that line of thinking only manifested shame. I was ashamed of being a college student that was obtaining an undergrad degree at my age. Who would have thought that one long commitment of returning to school after 22 years resulted in receiving a BA degree? A girl who was raised in a single parent home with her mother, brother, grandmother, and uncles a mother who instilled the importance of education into her son, a woman who never gave up and is now representing her family as a first generation college graduate. There is so much excitement in the air and it's all about each of you, our entire community, our professors, our parents, spouses, grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, who are also very proud of us today. And also, let's not forget about our children that have watched us spend timeless days, nights, and weekends studying. For some, this may be the end of the road. And for others, you're going on to receive your master's degree. Whichever point you are at, always remember, you did it, never give up, it's never too late, and most importantly, you can do anything. DePaul believes in the dignity and promise that every student and their ability to impact our world positively. This brings to mind a quote by Maya Angelou. 
I've learned that you shouldn't go through life with the catcher's mitt on both hands. You need to be able to throw something back. So that smile you receive from a stranger, throw it back to another stranger. The help you received around the house from your spouse and family while we were on our mission to achieve what we have accomplished here on this day, throw that back. The knowledge you've acquired through all your classes when presented with an opportunity to tutor, mentor, or even give a little assistance as pertaining to scholastics, throw your gift back out there. Trust me, I know that everyone you may throw a gift to won't be playing with an open glove. Maybe their head isn't in the game and they're unfocused. Perhaps the game has them stressed out in need of some encouragement. This is when we need to be the solution. Throw them your gifts, no matter if you think they're ready or not. Give an opportunity. Encourage the hopeless to live a life with no regard for failure. Expand the deflated with love and attention. Throw back patience to the difficult instead of frustration. Speak triumph and then defeat it instead of patronization. I think the golden rule is an excellent model to use when throwing back. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So the time you made available in your life to complete assignments before the deadline or participating in discussion boards before midnight, it's all over. Never forget where you came from or how difficult it may have been when you were there, when you were all alone wishing someone would throw some positivity your way while praying that one day you would not only be the source of your own positivity, but the cause for others as well. I know you can do it. Today is proof of that. We did it at CPS. Now let's throw it back. The Dean will now present the candidates for the conferral of degrees. President Esteban, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Continuing and Professional Studies, I respectfully present the candidates and recommend that the announced degrees be conferred upon them. By the authority vested in me, by the Board of Trustees and the State of Illinois, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. The following candidates have successfully completed the requirements and have been awarded their respective degrees. Jamie Acosta. Jonna Adams. Jeannie Alexander. Renee Allison. Jeff Alltop. Robert Andrews. Alfredo Aperi. Vicki Arias. Sandra Arrington. Tony Marie Banahan. Todd Barnett. Anthony Barone. Eric Beck. Moises Bermudez. Ryan Beth. Andrea Biokowski. Kira Binder. Greg Black. Tova Black. Jacqueline Blake. Paige Buma. John Bradshaw. Sophie Brar. Kim Brooks. 
Brennis Brown, Christina Brown, Ariana Buckinger, Adam Bumpers, Melissa Bird, Nicole Cacciatolo, Michael Campbell, Lawrence Carnes, Omar Castillo, Stephanie Chides, Willie Christian, Barry Clark, Denise Clark, Niles Clark, Karen Cole, Rosanna Cordero, Carly Conniff, Lorena Curry, Matthew Daly, Jean Darling, Erica Davis Johnson, Preciosa Delgado, Tina Denard, Patricia Dillard, Erica Dini, Kieran Dolezal, Yanier Dominguez, Latanya Dotson, Batty Dotson, Sabrina Downard, Deborah Duffy, Anna Maria Duran, Christopher Dworakowski, Leslie Ehart, Ahmad El Aris, Anna Eliopoulos, Raquel Eng, Dennis Ernst, Raquel Esparza, Erica Fleming, Angel Flores, Daniel Foley, Evangeline Fraze, Kristen Fry, Anna Fuentes, Maureen Gaffney, Edward Gallagher, Guillermo Gama, Gloria Garcia, Pamela Germain, Danielle Gilo, Daniel Gonzalez, Julia Garauka, Beridi Gower, Tara Granada, Sabrina Greco, Rachel Greenblatt, Lily Grisco, Gloria Gaudarama, Jared Gunn, Jean Hamilton, Suzanne Hamilton, Lena Handy, Christopher Harris, I'm John Hassan. Jessica Heberling, Evan Henderson, Bernardo Hernandez, Anthony Hester, Michelle Hill, Jamie Hogan, Kathleen Holcomb, Rosie Holcomb, Bill Hoover, 
Jessica Horn, Shanae Howell, Celissa Humphrey, Norma Irizarry, Loretta Ivy, Cherie Jackson, Torianda Jackson, Ann Jonas, Christopher Kasmer, Sonata Kazimi, Kenneth Konecki, Richard Kaskella, Mark Cott, Daniel Krusik, Patricia Lacey, Andrea LeBron, Sean Lee, Valerie Lee, Shantoya Leslie, George Lewis, Patricia Little, Tiffany Lomax, Elvis Lopez, Javier Lopez, Sabrina Lowry, Madison Lynn, Christopher McFarland, Ivan Madrigal, Shamin Malik, Meryl Malone, William Marino, Tina Marrero, Emily Marsden, Monica Martinez, Laura Matthew, Karen McGraw, Gabriella McCune, Vivian McDowell, Andrew McGrath, Martin McGuire, Rashomon McKay, Roxanne Means, Marisol Medina, Jason Meyer, Margaret Michelli Venkis, Kenyatta Monley, Cheryl Moore Hunt, Caprice Morales, Avril Morris, Fernando Munoz, Andrew Mashinsky, Benjamin Nadel, Chung Nam, Sherry Nelson, Alina Naivas, Danita Nurse, Melanie O'Connell, Colleen O'Shea, Carmela Ochoa, Jacqueline Papirnik, Rosalind Parham, Tiffany Parton, Kim Petros, Gary Piper, Sonia Plata, Ashish Rana Magar, Kelly Reyes, LaMonica Ryder, Albert Riley, Jacqueline Rios, Michael Robb, Asia Robertson, Ryan Rowe, Paul Rousseau, 
Rebecca Sablich, Gail Sanchez, Michelle Sanders, Brandy Sanderson, Claudia Sandoval, Adam Seidman, Kajo Satonji, Barbara Sims, Karen Smith, Ralph Sorrentino, Ann Sprecher, Ethan Stein, Andrew Stewart, Catherine Swigon, Matthew Taylor, Courtney Teague, Monica Terrazas, Talanda Tillman, Claudia Tisnato, Kathy Topol, Martha Topol, Keisha Torian, Dina Trevino, Robert Trotter, Angie Tuggle, Evelyn Umferer, Philip Urquhart, Della Marie Urso, Christopher Vasek, Mark Valadez, Kenya Van Osten Proman, Luz Vargas, Jesus Vera, Eric Villarreal, Donna Voigt, Hugh Wagner, Kerry Waller, Lene Watson, Rocky Watson, Megan Watt, Hannah Wiley, Catrice Williams, Matthias Waro, Nikki Yeldo, Charles Young, Rob Zeller, Jean Zerner, Members of the Vincentian community and the clergy, trustees, life trustees, faculty, administration, staff, and honored guests. I'm Gabriel Esteban, president of DePaul University. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the DePaul University class of 2020. Your presence, even in this online space, means everything to us. This was not the year or the commencement ceremony anyone expected, and I am inspired by the tenacity and drive the class of 2020 has demonstrated throughout this time. I am also extremely grateful to all the faculty and staff who made the swift transition to remote learning, as well as the many people who made today's com online commencement ceremony possible. I especially would like to recognize the members of the DePaul community who continued to report to campus throughout the spring quarter. DePaul University, class of 2020. The world is a scary place right now. Graduating from college always comes with a degree of uncertainty. Is this the right job for me? Am I choosing the right path? Will I achieve my dreams? 
I know all your questions are magnified right now, and it's okay to feel scared. Now, more than ever, the world needs DePaul graduates. There are more than 6,000 students in the class of 2020, and the world needs every single one of you. We need entrepreneurs, economists, and hospitality leaders, journalists, filmmakers, computer scientists and game designers, teachers, counselors, writers, artists, diplomats, and historians, nurses, psychologists, scientists and mathematicians, musicians, and actors. The world needs DePaul graduates because you know what it takes to succeed. You know how to roll up your sleeves and do whatever it takes to get the job done. You understand the importance of giving back. And you have the courage to ask, what must be done? At DePaul, our Catholic Vincentian mission to serve the public good is at the heart of everything we do. We have taught you to fight for social justice, help those most in need, listen, and be kind. Please keep our Vincentian values close to your heart. Be mindful of the responsibility that comes with a DePaul diploma. The diploma that bears the name of St. Vincent de Paul. DePaul University, class of 2020, you are ready to serve a changing world. Transformed by your DePaul education, grounded in mission, make us proud. The last step in your journey at DePaul is to be inducted into the alumni community. It is my distinct honor to introduce our special alumni guest, Joe Keery, who graduated from the theater school in 2014 and now plays Steve Harrington on the hit Netflix series, Stranger Things. DePaul has always been proud to call Joe one of our own. And my wife and I are big fans of his work. We're very grateful he could join us today to celebrate the class of 2020. Please welcome Joe Keery. Hi, everybody. My name is Joe Keery. I'm an alumni of DePaul University, class of 2014 uh, from the theater school, and I'm honored to be this year's alumni inductor. Uh, and to welcome the class of 2020 into the Alumni Association. So congratulations, class of 2020. Um, when I think about my time at DePaul, I think about uh, all the hard work. Uh, I mean, DePaul really conditions their students to work. If you ask any of the students at the theater school, they, they're definitely working very hard. Um, it really conditioned me to fill my days doing the thing that I love to do and, and, then, and then work towards goals that I really set for myself. So now, uh, more than ever as graduates and kind of given the current state of the world, I think it's, I think it's really important to keep your foot on the gas and to, and to really go after every single opportunity to, to make your own opportunities. To, uh, you know, if you work hard at something that you love to do and you can make a living doing it, then you won't have to work a day in your life. That's always been my mentality and I feel so lucky to be able to do the work that I'm able to do. Um, and it wouldn't have been possible truly without DePaul. I look back on my time there so fondly, all the friends that I've made, all, all the experiences that I had, um, but truly now the real fun begins because you get to take everything that you've learned and everything that you've worked towards at DePaul and, and put it to use. And uh, now you can start this new chapter in your life and uh, always look back fondly at your time at DePaul. So, Congratulations again, and uh, now to induct the class of 2020. Inscribed upon 
this scroll are the names of the members of DePaul University's 121st graduating class, the class of 2020. We accept these graduates into the DePaul University Alumni Association. Members of the 121st graduating class, we welcome you to the next step in your lifelong connection with DePaul as students of yesterday, graduates today, and alumni forever. You are now part of an even larger DePaul community of over 190,000 alumni living around the world. The continued vitality of DePaul University depends upon each of us as alumni and our pledge of commitment and service to the university. We invite you to accept membership by moving your tassel from the right to the left as a symbolic gesture of your transformation from a student of DePaul University to a lifelong learner and citizen of the world. Graduates, please move your tassels. You should really do it. And congratulations to the class of 2020.